Greetings, this is Earthman, Origami's Living Soil, servant of the Most High God who lives and reigns forever supreme. What we have here is the basis, the basics, basis, whatever, of making EM1 or effective microbes. Um, this is very expensive online and um, and you know I looked into it a long long time ago well not too long but long enough and decided you know wow I'd like to make this stuff and then there was a few people online that probably could be better than this video that you can watch but this is a basic and there's this too um, how to make your own effective microbes and um, then at the end I got a little secret I throw in um, now what I do is I'll take a gallon of organic milk and pour that into a container. Now, if you can get a gallon of raw milk, if you're a farmer and have your own cow, um, that would be even better. Um, but, you know, this does work uh, with organic milk you buy at the store, but it's better raw milk. Um, and then you get a cup of water that has rice in it, and you let the rice sit in it, you know, for maybe like 10 minutes now you mix it up real good and then you pour uh, after you pour the milk in your container you pour this into your container through a strainer so you don't get any rice in there and so basically you got one gallon of milk one cup of rice water and now what you do with that is uh, cover it up not seal it but cover it up so things don't get in it and then you put it in uh, a cool place. I'd put mine in the basement and you know, wait about a week, week and a half. And then what you're looking for is, yeah, it's gonna have a little bit of a cheesy, you know, sour milk smell. And then um, you look for the thick, uh, thick, like a layer of cream on top. Uh, but it's not really cream, but it's uh, gook all the way, I guess, or something. The way is what you want all the curds curds yeah that's it um they're like curds soft curds that float to the top and that's when you know that you're you're good and so the best way to get your you know stuff that you want out of there and that's that liquid that's underneath the way or I mean the uh, underneath the curds is the way so if you get yourself one of those kerosene pumps that where you you know you stick it in and then you pump it and then you can get the liquid out of the bottom that's the best way to go but if you have to pour it pour it through a cheesecloth inside a, a strainer uh, that way you, you know you get just the liquid that's inside not all that other white junk that kind of makes it hard to store when you get a little bit in there um, it's best just to have the, the, the whey or just the, the liquid itself and then what you do is you add uh, let's say you, this gallon right there. I add a half a cup to a cup of molasses organic molasses and, uh, and It should be good to go for at least a couple months uh, The longer you want it to sit the more molasses so it's not unheard of mixing equal amount of the liquid uh, EM and with the same part of molasses and that'll help it last for a year at least so that would be my recommendation one gallon of the em is what you're probably gonna or maybe even less what you're gonna end up add equal amount of molasses or a little bit less um and that will help stabilize it and then from there you can make little batches of your own em um by just storing it in a fermentation well that's another story but this is how you make your uh, em1 and I, I a little surprise for you that I, I do add one more thing. I, I add my own photosynthetic bacteria. And I'm going to do another video on that next time. So this is Earthman. Once again, you get a gallon of milk. And then you put that into a container. You take that a, a, one cup of rice water minus the rice. Put that in there. Wait about a week and a half or less or more. Uh, to the cheese curds float to the top then you try to get all that liquid that's down below below it you know without the curds into a container and then you add molasses to it your call how much there's other websites to tell you how much I think if you want to last for a year almost um, equal amount or maybe a little bit less of molasses then uh, mix it up good and you can store it for a long time well that's it this is Earthman from Origami's Living Soil 
I hope this helps out. Um, if you don't know what EM1 is, uh, effective microbes, then this video is probably no good for you. But if you don't know it, it you know, do, do your research. Find out how it works good with plants and you'll be amazed.